Okay, do the characters appropriately represent the genre? Um, yeah, they do, they do, because um, it's basically like a typical kind of what you what you'd expect in a, a not a horror movie, but like a kind of crime kind of movie. But I don't think I don't really think it's more horror. It's, I think it's more maybe because I don't really know it in depth. But yeah, but why is that? Because um, it's that like, because it's basically a man a psychopath killing people, but. In a horror movie, I, you just, you, I, I, I personally expect things like ghosts and like supernatural things, kind of things. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, does our killer character conform to the stereotypes? Um. Yes. They. He does. It. As I said, it's like a typical kind. Of what you'd expect in a not horror movie, but a I don't know the name for it, but yeah, he does because he's got a reason, a motive for why he does that. Even though they, I think they kind of like they're not valid reasons but he's at least got a motive for his crimes and stuff yeah okay um are the motives of the killer clear yeah they are clear but they're not valid reasons as like he's because he's um his mom left his dad his dad committed suicide because because of this um he was sent to orphanage yeah he's got reasons for this but they're kind of stupid reasons they're not how's it stupid because he you can't really kill someone just because it happened to you because your mom left you because it wasn't say it wasn't the person's fault like the person you killed didn't do anything to you mm. so yeah okay um what do you think of the plot does it conform to the genre of the movie well it kind of does because there's crime there's murder there's um yeah it does yeah. okay the end of the recording <laughs>What do you think of our plot in relation to horror and slasher genre? I think like it's a really good plot in comparison to like typical horror plots because um, it's got like a build up so you actually know why the killer, why the killer is like going out to keep kill people and stuff. It's got a good background and like us as the audience are able to understand maybe why the killer behaves this way or why his motive is to like kill loads of people. Do you think that the tagline, can sins be forgiven, is appropriate for the genre of our trailer? Why? Um, in some aspects it is appropriate because I personally feel that someone, go, so because based on someone's like past, that doesn't give them like a right to go ahead and like kill all professional, um, all professional women. Like No one has the right to do that. So in that sense, sins can't be forgiven. But then at the same time, um, you, there's kind of like a story behind it as to why the killer actually goes to kill these women because of what his mother did to him in the past. So in that sin, sense, sins can't be forgiven because he actually doesn't forgive what his mother does, if that makes sense. Do you think the victims represent our genre well? Why? Um, in a way they do because, um, in a way they do represent your genre well because, um, it is a horror film and like they are victims of what this kind of violent behaviour like because Jonathan's going out to torture and kill these females so yes it does relate to your gender. Are the killer's motives clear? Why? Um, well the killer's motives to kill people <laughs> because, um, because of like what happened in the past and how his mother left him and she's she went on to have a happy life so it's understanding why the killer that like, wants to kill these people and yeah are there any elements of the plot or trailer that you would change if so why um i don't think i'll change anything maybe um maybe you could have like a background story as of the victims maybe like maybe find out more about them and like their professional business and stuff and yeah what do you think of our plot in relation to the horror genre um i think the plot's very good it matches all the stereotypes of the genre for example it has the like terrible childhood and then the tough upbringing as his father Dad and his mother has left him. Do you think the tagline "Can sins be forgiven" is appropriate for the genre of our trailer? 
Um, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, because he's committed like, a lot of crimes which are seem to be sins, so yeah. Do you think the tagline, I see you, would be appropriate for the genre? Um, not necessarily, no. Because it's... It just, it kind of, it doesn't match the plot, to be honest. It's a bit random. And what do you think of the tagline, when you think you're alone? Yeah, that's very good, because he's like, very mysterious, very very random <coughs> person, so I think that would be a very good one also. Do you think the victims represent our genre well? Um yeah he does. The as I said, the terrible childhood, the poor upbringing, so and also the crimes which are committed, the murders. Yeah. Are the killer's motives clear? It's kind of clear. It just kind of says that he's murdered them and he's become obsessed with torturing and killing. It doesn't necessarily say what it was that brought him to do that. How can we improve the trailer? Um, give him more of a reason as to why he's doing this or a little hint as to that there is a message behind it. And what do you think would be appropriate title for a trailer, for a movie? I'm not sure. What do you think of our plot in relation to our genre? I think it's really good and it's well thought of because most horror films nowadays are really boring and their plot's not original. So you thought of different events to happen and not keep the viewer bored. According to our plot, what tagline do you think would be suitable to use? Um, can be forgiven. Anything else? Um, or a basis? To do, probably do business or work kind of thing or family as well. Do you think our characters appropriately represent our genre? Why? Yeah, because it's usually um, usually it's families in horror films and, and it's usually the little kids that are the messed up ones. So yeah. And they're getting revenge on their parents as well, so yeah. Do you think that our killer conforms to genre stereotypes? of a typical killer? Um, yeah, yeah, because he's quite messed up and he's a psychopath as well. So the his background story like explains why he's a killer. Are his motives clear? Yeah. Why do you think that? Well, considering his background story, it all links in. So the viewer would know what happened to him for him to be doing these kind of things. Okay, thank you. <laughs>